Hello there, and welcome to the Nintendo Club Podcast Level 55. This is our first of at least two E3 extravaganzas. Joining me today is John, who is having a lot of static that just happened once he started messing with stuff again. Oh, it was serious? perfectly good before you did that, yes. Oh, no. And it's good now. All right, uh, it's my iPad. I threw it away. <laughs> it's, <laughs> it's causing interference, obviously. Yes, it so is. I, I threw a away. little bit of the, the Wi-Fi, the 3Gs. How are you doing the day, John? I'm good. I'm great. This is I'm a great been week. an exciting week. Nintendo has been on it this week. <laughs> yeah, that's one way they've to put it. They've yeah. been recognizing. They've they've self realized that they they are self aware now. On many different things. <laughs> Just all of a sudden, they hit them like that. Yeah, they like self aware. They did the you know the Luigi Death Stare that they probably put in there in like the last minute. They make oh, yeah. fun it, of it Mother looked like Three it was last minute. And... They, they, it looked like it was cut in over something else. Yeah, it's <laughs> like we gotta put that in. It's, you know, make yeah, sure. Was... Yeah, so they they've been responsive. And this uh, live from the treehouse. This is a huge success. I feel for them. Like they own E three as far as like for their, all their people that want to know about Nintendo stuff. People can just sit there all week watching Nintendo eight hours a day. It's crazy. That's, yeah, that's what I was just watching on my iPad. They were showing off Wii Sports. Are they really like the new sports? Yeah, it looked like it looked like they were showing off baseball. Oh, I'm gonna have to watch that tonight. Um, yeah, so like I, I feared, like by the end of today, we'll have another game announced that just like, oh, we announced the Treehouse Live uh, Majora's Mask 3D comes out. Uh, I hope that would happen. <laughs> well. Oh, that's one thing we didn't get. We didn't <laughs> get that. No, uh, but they've been on it, and I feel like they just like had this the idea of let's bring everyone in the E3, and they did it really well. And the cool thing is, like, uh, comparing to Microsoft and Sony is, Sony and Microsoft had these, like, 10-minute, uh, like, demos or gameplay footage in their event. And with this, the Treehouse, they're able to do a good 30 or 40 minutes on their new games and leave the event to just, this is why you should be excited, and here's the highlights, and here's the bang, 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 let's get, it, let's get to um, what you need to know. And then Treehouse is this long form eight hour a day thing where they can do whatever they want. Yeah, it's been it's like yeah, I can watch pretty much every day, and they've I mean they've shown tons of Smash Brothers on there. Pretty yeah, it's been the Smash Brothers channel, but uh, yeah, they've been shown. I mean they they had Devil Devil's uh, Devil's Third. Yeah, Devil's Third. They, they had this M rated that, yeah. game on the live stream from Nintendo. <laughs> yeah, they were all joking about it. And, oh, oh, look how brutal it is. Yeah, <laughs> they, <laughs> they do curse laughing, in that yeah. game too. I'm not sure what parts they shed, but uh, they cursed in the digital event. Oh yeah, and uh, Reggie uh, was very raw during the Smash event. We'll we'll get to all that. So Reggie's always raw. He was very raw. He was, looked like he was just like the end of the day of huge successes, and he. Let's you you know um, I guess we say it now. He said you know I really suck at the the console home console versions, but once I get on 3DS, I'm gonna kick your ass. You know, <laughs> you know a Nintendo executive saying kick your asses. Uh, I didn't expect that one. Well, you know he did that at his first E3. That's the first thing he ever said for Nintendo. Oh yeah, is, yeah. I'm coming out and I'm taking aim and kicking ass. Well, it feels like a return to to that. Like as far as like <laughs> the energy level here. Energy. Well, I yeah. Think I think what they did this year was a better job of what they were trying to do last year. And last yeah, it wasn't, year was it wasn't pr uh, fully realized last year. Yeah, like you, you, yeah, last year was totally like a beta, and this was totally them expanding out what they wanted to do. And I like it a lot because I got everything I wanted. Um, it's been great, and as I said, I took today's off. So Monday, I was able to watch <laughs> four press conferences back to back, pretty much. Because between those press conferences, you had enough time for like uh, IGNs and other people to kind of dissect it. But you had pretty much the whole day from noon to like 10 p.m. of press conferences Monday. Then Nintendo's day on Tuesday starts at noon, then went to like 10 p.m. when they cut us off from the developers roundtable, which kind of bummed me out that they didn't live stream that stuff. Well, but, you're not uh, a developer. You're lucky they're strive they're streaming any of this. They're stuff. streaming so much stuff. In the yeah. Smash event, that was a great way to end Tuesday. It's like you just keep them going better and better than the Smash event. That just is off the wall. But let's just like get to um, the event and the games that were shown off in the end event. Um, I kind of made a list of different things here. Well, you want to do it from like in order they did it, top down? Sure, sure. Okay. I, I think my list is vaguely that. I'm not sure if you have that exact list or not. Uh, yeah. Okay. So first, we have Claymation. Hilarious. Uh, hilarious. Um, Mother 3 and uh, that kind of reference there with uh, the press who just want 
what they want. <laughs> yeah. And, uh, uh, yeah. They, so they did claymation and robot. They actually Reggie said that robot chicken chicken actually did the animation for them. Yeah, which is great. Um, which is cool because they live like that's like thirty minutes from my house. I pass William Street all the time, so it's oh, cool. Oh, seriously, cool. Yeah, yeah. It's downtown Atlanta, so it's cool that they really went, went to them and had them do it. And yeah, they were cracking jokes from the beginning. Um, yeah, they're making fun of themselves almost, and at of course the press, which are stupid sometimes. Yeah, they had a pre- member of the press like you know scream out, "Oh, good, another Mario game!" And then Reggie said, "You know, I don't like your tone." But we <laughs> we're actually, actually not have, having a Mario. No, we game actually don't have a Mario game this year. And you know, they the guy and the you know Mother Three, and then the guy later who was like Starbucks, we want Starbucks. You know, Laser like, eyes, yeah. Yeah, like and then they go in the back, and Mario's like, "Oh, I don't get a yeah. game this year." So yeah, it was funny. I was cracking up from the get go. Yeah, good. they had a nice tone about this event here. And they get they uh, kind of go from there to Iwata versus Reggie doing Matrix style fighting and yeah. that was and, epic. Yeah. It was epic. It was pretty cool. Um it was like Dragon Ball Z. Nintendo what a style. way to introduce me fighters, I'll tell you. That was I kind of yeah, as soon as they saw what was happening, I kind of thought, "Oh, this is this is me's and so Mii fighters. fighters I think are more exciting than most people would have imagined because you have three different types of Mii's. You have Brawlers, sword fighters, and gunners, and you're able to do custom move sets per those me's. So these are going to be basically totally custom me's, and I will might use my own me because I'm getting more attached to him with Tomodachi. <laughs> my Tomodachi exactly. me and Mario Kart, I'm getting more attached to my me than I ever have. Before. See, I'm not. I've never been into the me's. It's a fun avatar, but I never like it. Whenever they're in the game, I never really want to play as them. I think but, it's getting stronger. Like, if you got Tomodachi, John, you would fall in love with your me again, I think. Maybe. I, I, see, I never fell in love with my me to begin with, I don't think. What's, what I like is <laughs> that I can have, like, Samuel L. Jackson and Walter White and Justin yeah. Bateman. Like, that kind go. of stuff. That's more fun to me than having myself in the game. Like yeah. Having yeah, there'll be some historical fun Historical like figures, like, sure. I have George Washington. <laughs> like, yeah. Stuff, stuff like no, that. That'll that's, be cool. That'll be very cool. That's fun to me. Yeah, okay. So, that was announced. Um, let's do all the Smash Brothers stuff kind of at once that was kind of spread out over a couple days. So, at yeah, the end of this, uh, Paltina was announced via a kind of Japanese anime style. anime style thing, which is kind of cool. I didn't know who Paltina was. I had to look that up, but I didn't know Kid Icarus enough. She's like, yeah, she's the princess in Kid Icarus. Yeah. She's but Princess Peach to Mario as the She kid. looks yeah. like she kicks some butt, though. That looks like she's a powerful so tall. character. She looks so tall. Yeah, but yeah, I she mean, looks so powerful. Well, whenever they do the intro video, they always show the main, like that character just kicking butt. Like, yeah. So hopefully it's not over powerful. <laughs> no, I think they'll balance it. Um, that evening they announced Pac-Man is oh, in. Yeah. that, And I saw the trailer. Did you see the trailer yesterday? Oh, yeah, it was awesome. This it was is great. It's, yeah, I'm so Much excited. Much better than I Pac-Man. anticipate. I, no I way, not, this is exactly uh, how I anticipate it. It's so jokey. The whole thing is jokey and stupid, and that's how they do it. And Smash. I think the final smash is the chomp move. Yeah, it's a giant chomp. That's exactly what it needed yes. to be, is a giant chomp. I mean, you can. Yeah. I think one of his moves is just a regular like 3D chomp. And he throws out um, the villains from his game in one of his moves? Yeah, he throws out Namco things. He throws out things from like Galaga, I'm pretty sure. I saw him <laughs> do that. Like, it is oh, it's, it's so yeah. perfect for Smash so, Brothers. It's what I've wanted. Smash Brothers is a four person game. So now, in one match, you have Pac-Man, you have Mega Man, you have Sonic, and, and you have Mario. Yeah, it's epic. This yeah, is like the, the big perfect. four. You have Finally, Nintendo, yeah. Sega, Capcom, and uh, Namco in one big franchise. That's cool. So I was extremely satisfied that they finally announced Pac-Man. I, I think we all knew it was coming. We just didn't know for now, sure. No, Game & Watch was like halfway announced, uh, not announced. No, no, that's announced. I don't care. That's I think announced. it was announced. I think Sakurai's no. Miiverse said it was announced as well. So when they were showing off the Amiibo stuff, they also had a picture of Game & Watch. So... Game & Watch is one of my main characters, and I just, oh, I love it I've never so played bad. his Game & Watch. So oh, Game & Watch that. is awesome, yeah. He's got, yeah. he's got bacon, and he's got all sorts of fun moves. He's just, he's one of those yeah. jokes. I, li- I love the, the funniness of Smash, and he's really funny, I think, because it's so over-the-top oh, absolutely. stupid. But yeah, uh, Game & Watch, I'm excited. So they announced the pricing for the GameCube Smash bundle will be $100. I'm not sure if this was in the last show or not. Did they announce this at the time? I don't think so. I think this. I don't even think they really. They just had. Like, they talked this to press passing. about it. Yeah, they just had this in passing. So hundred dollars, you get the GameCube controller, the Smash Brothers one, you get the adapter and the game. So basically, saving ten dollars otherwise from the initial pricing. Um, and since it's a game officially, 
uh, if you're on the Best Buy like Gamers Club, you'll be able to t- take 20% off that, I'm pretty sure. Because I can with the controller, with the Wii Remote controller bundle, so I'd imagine this would be the same. So here's what I keep seeing around the internet. I keep seeing these pictures of these Wii remotes with the special GameCube controllers with third Yoshi party. And Peach. Third party. That's ones. third party. Because yeah. I, I really want that Yoshi. Now they remind GameCube me a lot of the Club Nintendo in the GameCube era or the late early Wii era gave out as like rewards in Japan like a Mario GameCube controller, a Wario one. They had like four of these really cool ones that go for about a hundred bucks on eBay right now. That reminds me of that a little bit. Intended still, something. Yeah, something. We still need Rob the Robot to be announced because that's I love. Rob He's the Robot. like sort of in one of Miyamoto's projects. About we'll talk about later. <gasps> Ooh, I didn't know that. Yeah, he's in the uh, the guard one, the okay. Project Guard. So uh, the other thing Smash Brothers related is release dates. So October summer. Um, what what does summer mean to you, John? What does that mean to you? Is well, that my, like July or no? Well, my August? my birthday is actually on the last day of summer, which is September twenty first. So I have a pretty yeah. good uh, I have a pretty good feel for when summer ends because I usually now celebrate. now in Japan. <laughs> it comes out September thirteenth, right? So, so it, that's you know, that's it summer. must yeah, summer. So it must be coming out around the, that same week in America. But no, uh, no it's July third or October third in America. Oh, yeah. Sorry, all, all that text in there is really holding it back. Oh, wait, October third. No but text. it was funny, like they just flashed it for like half a second, like boom, it's gone. I was like, <laughs> was that, is that October third? Is that what that just happened there? Uh, uh, but, that's a that's a yeah. good release date. I mean, it's a fun release date. It does bring it a lot close to the Wii U one because they did uh, change the date a little bit from ho- uh, from winter to holiday 2014. Now, holiday 2014 makes me believe it's more firmly in 2014 than winter 2014. Well, Reggie, <laughs> every time they, he Reggie mentioned it, he said you'd be playing Smash this year. That's what he said every time. Yeah. This, so, he said this year. He kept so saying this, this is year. either to me Thanksgiving, so. which is the more likely one in my eyes, or Christmas. Well, Smash is the big one, so it's going to be probably I. Well, November. Maybe, It'll be the November twenty first game, right? Mm, I don't know. I think Melee released in early December. I honestly you see think it'll Nintendo, be close to the Christmas. Yes, I see Nintendo taking every second they need with this game. Sakurai, okay. the developer, every Smash Brother. I guess with Brawl, it really was. He took every second possible with that game. I have a funny feeling the Wii U game's further it. along than the three DS game. Actually, I don't know about that. I have a hunch I think, that's the, I, I think the balance of the characters on the Wii U is is a little rougher. They said Samus is the most powerful in this build, currently. Who says that? Nintendo Treehouse folks and developers. Oh, okay. Yeah. Interesting. And no one picked him in the tournament. So, uh, the tournament, I think we should dive into it while we we're start, at the Smash Brothers stuff. Well, we should, are we going to talk about Amiibo? Oh, Amiibo. Yes, absolutely. Because that seems... So, different. cool name. I like it, yeah. <laughs> yeah, Amiibo. It's kind of... I don't know what it stands for. Like, is it Japanese for anything? I don't know. Well, um, uh, there's me in the middle. M- yeah. Uh, so. Amiibo. So Amiibo. what's the bow? <laughs> I don't know. It's, yeah. uh, it's catchy. It's catchy, yeah. So what this is to me is it's finally going to make playing against the computer fun because you're playing against your computer is the way it uh, is interpreting the me from Smash Brothers. So initially we thought, hey, it's going to power up your me that you're playing as. Mm-hmm. But in when in fact it's a computer uh, me a uh, computer character that will be leveling up to level fifty if you can yeah. train it that well, and yeah. uh, it sounds like a cool concept. It's not uh, what I thought it'd be. Yeah, they said you can like play along with your character or against your character. Like there's all different you know ways you can yeah. interact with. It, but it never sounded like that you get to play as your amiibo. No, because he is. Uh, it's a it's a figure. Yeah. Yeah, he's a. Fi- I'm not the figure. Why would I play as? Yeah, that'd be weird, right? Yeah, you know? <laughs> yeah it's, it sounds like they're working on amiibo for every character. And, um, yeah. They so said, yeah, they said the ones that we saw weren't finalized. So okay, don't get, don't get too attached to the Mario with the fireball. Well, I would say the villager. I must have. Oh, oh I'm gonna get the villager. I'm gonna get. I'm Game gonna get Watch. them all. Probably. I'm gonna get Game of Watch. Villager's first on my list, though. Samus looks pretty hot. Toon Link will be first on my list, probably. Toon Link wasn't in the. Released oh, but, it, oh, but he's he's coming because they said every character is coming. Oh, he's got to be. But uh, yeah, so I hope these are like game and watch. Hope these are only like eight bucks or something. Or I can't bucks. see them. Oh, they're gonna be more than six bucks. I these think are, eight. Eight might. I'm happen. thinking. I'm thinking fifteen. 
No, 10. Please, Nintendo, don't go no, more I'm than thinking, 10. I'm thinking If it's 15. a 10, I'd buy every one initially. 15, I'll be slow I think Nintendo. I think Nintendo would be happy if everyone who bought a copy of Smash had one figurine, and that's probably a couple million of these out there. You, do you think, like, would it be crazy to think that they might have a random figure in every copy of Wii U Smash to I get think, people started? I think I could see something like that happening. Or that could be in one of the bundles or something. I don't think people like random, though. Not they Smash don't, Riders. but but with this, I feel like it's just to get you started, then you buy the other ones that are available. Right? Yeah, but some people would be like, well, I'm just going to buy it all separate because I just want I want to buy the figurine I know I want. I mean, you know. I yeah, know. sure, people are like that. Especially now, they also kind of talked about have... third party, and Reggie was very open to the fact that, hey, yeah, we welcome third parties to the, be a part mm -hmm. of this and make their characters available. Uh, um, they also mentioned that this would be coming in existing and new games. So yes. Mario Kart 8, I'm yes, sure. Yes, so great. So I love I, that. I would much rather see this like kind of DLC where I get a figurine with DLC than just d buying DLC. Right, so Mario, Par Mario, Mario Kart 8, um, Mario Party 10, Mario Party. which yeah, wasn't it. even announced in the event, yeah. but actually looks like a really solid Mario Party game, probably the best since 2 looks, or 3. Looks polished, it looks Because good. there's, we'll talk about why I think it's special. Um, we have Captain Toad, Treasure Tracker, Yoshi's Woolly World, World, and more. So those are the currently announced titles. So we'll dig into those titles a little bit, but it is nice to see all these games being supported. I don't think they, they didn't announce support for Woolly World and Captain Toad. Yeah, they did. did. They? Yes, they did. did. They? Oh, I think oh, it's maybe. on their official uh, list of games. Yeah. Oh wow. Well, they did do that. They have a whole separate video that's about five minutes long. Yeah, that Bill Trend did. Uh, with Bill and yeah, they show off. I think they did say Yoshi in that. So. You're yeah, right. I love how Will Bill just kind of dropped Mario Party Ten. You, you know, no explanation. It was the announcement. It was in this amiibo. I had already yeah. watched the trailer for Mario Party Ten when he showed that video. When oh, I watched did that you? Video. Yeah, <laughs> they dropped it that morning before the digital event. I think. Oh, I didn't even catch that. They dropped a ton of trailers on their YouTube. Oh game yeah, indie games yeah. and uh, yeah. the more uh, first party games. Like that's how I found out about most games. I was just like, holy crap, all these trailers. So, do you want to dig into the? Uh, Smash Tournament, did you watch? You were at work, right? So you couldn't watch this. I was at work. I watched Did they? You were able to watch the Twitch stream, or how'd that work? I didn't really watch the tournament at no. all. I watched some of the live Treehouse stuff and them It was so much fun, the tournament, to watch. Like, it was just so much energy and really solid gameplay. Like, these guys are good. Yeah. Oh, yeah, I know. I watched some stuff with uh, some IGN peeps playing it. Um, Ryan yeah. Geddes is a big Smash Brothers fan. And I love uh, hearing him talk about Smash Brothers. Uh, I watched Treehouse stuff, but honestly, when I watched the Twitch stream, it was the frame rate was so bad I just couldn't watch it for. Really, Smash mine was solid. I streamed it for like eight hours a day, and it was oh, perfect frame rate. No, at least at least when I watched it earlier, it was like it was just too jumpy. I went online and found some sixty frames per second videos of people playing Smash, and man, that looks. Oh, like you mean Smash in particular? Yeah, just no. Like, uh, okay, oh, yeah. Other I didn't watch. Would, yeah. Yeah, other games with Twitch were fine, but Smash, because the oh, okay. speed of it, it was just, it, I, I couldn't really watch it. It wasn't enjoyable. Yeah, Smash wasn't on during my, my days off, so I didn't watch uh, that yeah. as much. Um, and then I went to the Smash uh, Brothers event yesterday. And we'll be going again Saturday, because it's yeah. local to me. Uh, it was a crazy line. It was it was nuts. Um, yeah, I saw a lot of pictures. I got of there lines. at... 5.15 and didn't get out till 7.30. Yeah, yeah, that's about right. Uh, that's uh, better than, I heard some people online waited like three hours to play. Yeah, it was, so. it's kind of crazy. And uh, the game is really solid. And, uh, the Villager, really, really awesome. I was using that little, uh, flying my little, um, I don't know what you call it, the, uh, the thing that moves in the air, what? the wind. But uh, uh, what are you talking about? Uh, the villager, he's just awesome. The thing in the wind. The you, you know in the Animal Crossing, they have the little um, wooden statue things. I don't know the name for it. I'm not. I don't know. What you're talking about. Well, anyways, but anyways, it was a lot of fun. I got to play a little bit of 3DS version, just a tad, tad bit as we were waiting in line. Uh, the How 3DS, I they really get it. I have to get a better scope of the controls. There wasn't enough time for me to get a hold of that quite yet. I they showed off during the digital event that in you can in the three DS version you can change how thick the line is, the cell yep. shading is on the character. I like that a lot. Yeah. Uh, that because that's cool. Um 
honestly, they said that the they did the debugging process for the 3DS version, which makes me feel like that's further along than the Wii U version. Yeah, I'm not sure. Like, how, I think the Wii U version is actually further along for some reason, but I'm not sure on that. Mm. The uh, so that the event, uh, the coins is a pre-order bonus. I found out. Oh, so you got to pre-order get that coin. You got to pay. You have to put down five dollars. So I, I got the little thing here. Uh, so I just have to, you know, present this and pre-order the game for five dollars down. Did I'll you get, get a coin. coin already. No, you get it at launch. So, oh, that so. sucks. It does because I was what expecting a coin like last year with the year Luigi. What if there's something better that you could get from a pre-order and you you gave up? You gave them five bucks that you're not going to use. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, and I'm also weary on, you know, the GameCube controller bundle. Will this... Yeah. My location set is upgradable, and I hope that's true. I just don't know. They were unsure on that, quite honestly. Honestly, I don't even know if I'm going to get that GameCube bundle. I mean, you, don't I, think I, you'll, you, you don't think you'll want to use the GameCube controller? No, because, I mean, I think I'll be happy with the Pro Controller. I mean, I, I'll probably want to play with the Game Controller, but I'd be happy just plugging my Game Controller into my Wii Remote. Like, I don't care if it's... I, I like the Game Controller how it feels, but I don't care if it's, like, you know, snappy, quick response, because I'm not playing a tournament. I'm not for, you know... Yeah, sure. I don't know. It seems like a bit much for me, but we'll see. I, I just have to have it, because I've never owned an official Nintendo oh, controller, and I'll be right. able to buy yeah. new. That's right. See, I own it. I can just... I can get a little adapter plug in my Wii Remote. Well, I can't. Uh, I just have the crappy third-party one. You know? Yeah. So I'm so. excited to get a real one. And I feel Maybe like for... I have to make controllers. Why not get another that I can yeah. plug into my Wii U? <laughs> It'd probably be good for parties if I got it. But Yeah, absolutely. And I kind of... Th- I feel like this will be used in other games. There's no way they have released this just for Smash. Well, there was no GameCube remakes announced. So what? <laughs> I'm just saying that's something I was hoping for. I, yeah, I mean, you know, they could announce some in a week or two, you never know. It's Nintendo, Thank when's the next Nintendo Direct coming out? They have a Direct in like a couple of weeks announces all these new games that they didn't have time for. This That'd be cool. Honestly, I mean, I could see them doing that. Um, if, they, if they did that, they would, their momentum would just be crazy. It would, and I feel like they have more stuff, like Majora's Mask 3D, where is that? Yeah, I mean, they're holding, they're definitely holding back stuff they're not showing us. They definitely are. Uh, so I have to give a call out. Uh, the Yoshi Fan Two Hundred uh, is a <laughs> like YouTube uh, person, a YouTube uh, channel that you should subscribe to. Uh, he was at the Best Buy event with me, and I uh, wanted to just okay. give a call out to him. A lot of fun hanging out with him and all the other folks there. Uh, it was uh, another wonderful like last year. It was big street pass and just meet up for Nintendo fans. Same thing this year, if not even more so, with the just amount of people there. So was I'm excited it, to go it, back Saturday. It was more people this year. Oh, yes. Last year, I could just, like, walk in and play all the games, pretty much. There were, like, maybe 20 or 30 people there last year. This year, it was just crazy. So, yeah, definitely more. Cool. So, uh, let's see. I think that is it for Smash. <laughs> There's so much Smash. Yeah, right? a lot is that it for Smash? Smash. A lot. Um, yeah. Yeah, I can't think of anything else. Um... I don't think any new Pac-Man levels. has his own level, I think, that was shown on the trailer, right? They showed the 3DS one. They didn't show one for the Wii U, but I'm sure there is one, because everyone's got at least one level. Um, they showed in the uh, the punch-out stage where the top of the lights can fall down on the stage. I'm not sure if oh, they showed cool. that before. That's a pretty cool technique to knock everyone out. <laughs> so, yeah, Smash Brothers is really solid. Comes out in Japan September 13th on the 3DS. I'll be getting that. And doing all sorts of fun YouTube videos and having people jealous. So that's always fun. Did that with Kirby back later. Anyways, let's move on. I think, uh, is Yoshi next? Yeah, Yoshi. Well, Reggie got all sentimental, then they went into uh, into Yoshi. <laughs> oh, yeah, he got very sentimental. Like, uh, Nintendo is uh, so special, and we love fun. And yeah. we want to show developers expressing that. So. Well, I mean, he was right. It, what it was, they he, was they a, were right, yeah. A pretty good contrast into what everyone else was showing, which was the same... You know, dark, gringy shooters and from last yeah. year just upresed, yeah. <laughs> yeah, pretty much. Yeah. So yeah, uh, yarn. Yoshi yarn Yoshi has a real name now. Yoshi Woolly World. Woolly World. I and like they did it. this interview. And one thing I have to say, John, 2015 is going to be an amazing <laughs> year. 
2015 is going to rock and be amazing. I yeah, Smash. Because we'll also get Star Wars in 2015, John. So that's and Avengers too, and all those games. You know they delayed Star Wars, right? You didn't. You heard that right? No, they didn't delay. Yeah, they did. No. Yeah, they did. They said that. Is that because Harrison Ford got hurt? No, it's because by the time they got the cast together, they they said, we just do not have enough time to get this out by next... No, because they have another one site for 2016. It's not going to do two in a year. No, they... The first one's pushed back another year. It's summer now, and it's a year later. Really? Yeah. I don't don't believe that. Um, Anyways. Anyways. (laughs) I'll have to look it up at the show here. Uh, but yeah, Yoshi's Woolly World. I never played Epic Garden for Kirby. Did you play that at all? No, I... I I want to get it it. You know, I want to get it. It's a fun game. It's really easy. From what I've seen, and uh, yeah, but it so looks cool. it looks like they changed this into kind of a. This is the true sequel for Yoshi's Island, almost is what it felt like to me, with a cool art style and cool new mechanics because of the yarn. Like it looks, it looks Yoshi really looks good. so huggable. Like I just want to hug this game. Yeah, they had like the, the, all the developers talk about how they played with yarn and really wanted to make it really, you know, lifelike. And I want them to like re- have hire somebody and recreate one of the levels in real life out of yarn. <laughs> like I, you could see Nintendo doing that, maybe I don't know. I looked on Etsy and yarn Yoshi's are going for about fifty bucks a pop. <sighs> I can get a yarn Yoshi. Oh yeah, there's they people on there who crochet them. They're already on there. Are they as good as ones we saw? Uh, they're about yeah. I mean they're. People I might good. have to pick one of those up. People are good at crocheting or whatever you do. I'm not good at crocheting, so I'll leave that skill to you guys and I'll give you my money. <laughs> the game looks a lot better than it did when we first saw it. Yeah, the, the first the first time we saw it, it was very... Um, they, they weren't really quite sure what the direction of it, right? This is No, it was weird. very like... Yeah, like the level... It looked more like a lot more like a platformer and less exploring. And it was just like these flat levels... It looked good, but this looks a lot better. There's I a love the mechanic of and... it's a two-player co-op game, so you know, yeah. eat your uh, sidekick and throw him up to attack people, which is yeah. cool. Um, I love the unraveling of yarn to get unraveling to Unraveling yarn. I love how you can use yarn to, like, at different strategies. Like, you can... I mean, you have these little yarn balls, and it's pretty much, like, your ammo you can use yeah. for different things. Um, no, it's really... I don't know. It's really creative and really cool. Yeah, I'm excited about this game. So yeah, twenty fifteen. Uh, and when we say twenty fifteen, I have a feeling that majority of these twenty fifteen games are the first half of the year before E three. Is my impression. I is that your impression? As well? I I know I have a different idea. I have a different take on all the twenty fifteen games. Uh, you think they're going to be delayed? I think no. I think they'll be delayed. I think they've kind of laid the groundwork for like a game a quarter, like Yarn Yoshi. We've known about. I think we'll see that like early, like we did Donkey Kong this year. I think we'll see Kirby probably in like the summer. Uh, you know, so like I think Splatoon is our Mario Kart game. No, we'll I think have Splatoon that in is like our summer, like end of summer game. Like no, that, that's that's like the September. May one right before E3 to get people talking. Mm, maybe eh, we'll maybe. see. We'll see. We'll see. I mean, yeah, you can. I think you can maybe switch Kirby with with Splatoon and and Kirby making. Yeah, Kirby feels late, more late like an August summer. game, August but, September. But yeah. I know definitely for sure that the game they announced later in the direct is not coming till winter <laughs> next year. At least it's that. If that, yeah. So yeah, so yeah. Twenty fifteen. I think we've got a lot of stuff coming. And yeah. uh, the next title is a twenty fourteen game, John. Twenty fourteen. Yeah, this was a surprise. So Captain Toad Treasure Tracker is a full retail game designed around Super Mario. Uh, I copies over there. Super Mario World's um, Toad Captain Toad missions. Yeah, it looks. I uh, it. Yeah, they fleshed this idea out into this awesome it, thing. It doesn't. It looks like they've added a few new mechanics, but not much more than that. Pretty much. Well, like, like Toad can pick up uh, turnips and throw them at shy guys now, like he oh, does cool. in Super Mario Brothers too. I'll tell you, it looks a lot better. Like it, the art style they actually changed it a little bit from 3D World, which I like. Um, and there's some like he has there's minecart levels in this, there's right? Mine, there's mine you, it's levels. like a first person minecart shooter for a part of the game. Yeah, it looks really good. The animations look really And there's boss fights. Good. Yeah, I mean I think we're gonna see a lot more of this coming up, obviously, in a few directs. Because yeah. I don't think we know really much about this game. No, like, it looks solid though. It looks like a cool idea. I'm curious will it be a fifty dollar game or sixty or what will be priced I at? would hope it would be fifty. Like, if Donkey Kong Tropical Freeze is a $50 game, then this should be $50. Unless they have, like, a thousand different levels or something crazy. I doubt they'll have that many, but... Well, uh, this is a game they could easily, like, if people enjoy, they could easily, you know, do DLC for, you know, on a pretty regular basis. Yeah, they could. 
if it was popular. I don't know how popular the Pikmin DLC has been, but you know, Pikmin didn't. Sell I think people are buying copies. it. I don't know. People are buying more it. people will buy now that a free copy of it, right? Yeah, yeah, definitely. And it's really low cost DLC. Uh, next up, unless any more on Captain Toad. Uh, no, it was a surprise. I didn't see it coming. All I can say is this is exciting because, as far as I can tell, this is going to be the only 2014 game on Wii U that is true first-party Nintendo kind of, like, happy time game with the, the, the <laughs> you know. Happy like, we'll Bayonetta, well, like, we'll ba- Bayonetta and other kind of, uh, um, more hardcore stuff, but I think this is the only one of the books so far that's, like, you know, your Nintendo game. Well, Smash Brothers is... Oh, of course. It's the most Nintendo Why game. would you need yeah. any other games when you have Smash Brothers, right? Yeah, most people would argue that's like the, mo- now, that's like the most Nintendo game. Yeah, never mind. I forgot about Smash. That Honestly, I'm, th- I'm surprised they're putting out Toad because it seems now with the games they have lined up that they have a game a month for the They do. Fall. They'll have yeah. uh, Hyrule Warriors September. They'll have Bayonetta in October, in October. right? Yeah, I'm Toad. Toad in it, November. Toad November, Smash in December. Is that right? Uh, well, Melee came like I remember Melee. The the GameCube launched in November, and it, Melee came out like a few weeks later in like December fifth. Um, so I could totally see them doing like early December for a big game. Like I so said, yeah, I think they have yeah, a game a month, months. which is good. They did that yeah. last year, and it felt really solid when they had that happening. Yeah, I mean that's they need consistent games. They do, they and do. I think twenty thirteen will even more consistent games. Yeah, yeah. Um, so. Um, Mario Maker is a real thing, John. I don't even have this on my list. Mario Maker. Mario now, Maker. Now, Mario Maker. Oh, wait, what do you do with Mario Maker? Mario Maker is my dream come true. They've obviously been listening I, to me. I bitch. watched the John <laughs> Bomb uh, commentary uh, over their, the video, and these guys lost their minds when they saw this. They yeah, were just it, crazy. This is what got the most attention by a lot of people. Oh, yeah, because this is what people have been like. I've literally been asking for this. Since I was a kid, make let me build yeah. my own Mario levels, and they're letting us do it, and now, it looks awesome. A lot of these games, like Mario Maker and Splatoon, that we'll get to later, and uh, some others, feel like, why is this 2015 if this is all there is? So in my mind, they're just showing a tip of the iceberg with like Mario Maker. I'm imagining we'll be able to create worlds and full games in this. We'll have uh, Super Mario Brothers 2 and 3 and world art mm. styles. And I feel like if this is all there is... It could be released this year, but I feel that this is just the tip of the iceberg, and they're going to expand this out to a full retail game that's so much more packed full of features, right? I would love that. I don't know if I see that happening. I could Because it I seems see- like this could be released this year if this is all there is, right? Mm, well, if they like polishing it. Uh, <laughs> they, I mean, maybe they think this year they have enough stuff. Maybe they want to But 2015 keep- is packed. But this is not... I don't think they see this as a full retail game. This is like an NES Remix type it of game. It could either be an NES Remix $15 download, or it could be this where you're going all out and making this crazy game where you can make your own games it could and go, share yeah. those games. And it oh, be, I definitely yeah. think they're going to let you share levels. Like They would have to. That yeah, would that's got to be in there. Being able to share levels has to be in there. Maybe replays of people playing really hard levels. On um, uploading the YouTube? Yeah, there, there's got to be a good way like to... to curate and go through like the most popular levels and the, the ones people were rating high and playing the most so yeah i mean it's got to it's got to have a lot of things for people i love the graphical switch so you can play new oh, super yeah. mario brother style or 8-bit yeah. style i think i'll i'll stay in 8-bit style i'll switch i think i think yeah. i'll switch but it's i think i'll pretty much stay in 8-bit style and i love the fact um, that you have the arc of your jump so you can see where you're going to land when you're creating these levels oh really i didn't know yeah that. so as you're doing your run throughs you can see when That's I jump, brilliant. this is where I land. So now you can design levels around that. Oh, is that why the level was like pointing and stuff? Is that what they were? I think so. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, like this. Like, oh, yeah. I'll yeah. I'll pay I'll pay Nintendo hundreds of dollars for this game. <laughs> it's, well, like, <laughs> like it's whatever. I'm imagining care. Nintendo creates their levels in a different program, but do you think it's similar to this at all, or what? Uh, I think this is way stripped down way easier. Right. We're not going to be able to do everything Nintendo does. So. Oh, no. but Like the pipes. Will they enable pipes to go to different pipes or something? Or underground levels? Well, that's the like thing. That. That's how far they take this game. It's totally up to them. I could totally like see Like water them. levels. Will we get water levels? Hmm. I that think you'll see a Mario Mario Maker 2, I think is what you're going to see all that stuff in. Yeah, it'll be, I'll, I think this is exciting because 
For the longest time, we always thought Nintendo doesn't want us making our own crappy levels because they know better than us. <laughs> yeah, this is awesome. And this there's a lot like... of inspiration for Mario Paint in this. They were initially thinking, let's make a Mario Paint, but no, they went Mario Maker. I'd still like a Mario Paint, but this is better. I would too. I would too. I just can't believe it's actually happening. I knew when I saw the poster it was happening. Yeah, yeah, yeah for sure. No Animal Crossing game for Wii U, though, John. I knew that. Right. I knew it. It's you too were right. soon. They can't just turn those games out. People, that... There's they a lot wanna, of there's a lot of localization to go in the back. They want to they like spreading Animal Crossings apart because you only get one per system and it you know and they just had one 3ds so they're gonna want to spread it apart. I could so honestly, that boss is just gonna die off and be uh, dead. That's what happens. You start over every five years. <laughs> I mean, uh, I yeah. could totally see Animal Crossing being like a 2016 game. That would not surprise me at all. Yeah, but we'll see. I could, it seems so perfect that the pause is ending this year. Yeah, I don't... Well, you know, you have Smash Brothers. You really need Smash just, Brothers and yeah. Animal Crossing. That could have just been an excuse for people to do something on their Wii U's. I don't know. Maybe. So, next up, a Xenoblade Chronicles X. So, they have a real name. Still X, but as a prefix, Xenoblade Chronicles. Oh, wait. Didn't you say they weren't going to change that? Tim? Well, they, they sort of didn't change it. <laughs> so, um, they, they, the, the renaming that we saw was some weird thing that didn't have X still in the title. This still has X. So your Google SEO that went into all this, uh, using X as the name still works for yeah, you. Yeah, I don't know. I, so I'm they sure took the best of both. They weren't going to change it. They, they didn't. Did. They still kept they, X in the name. Uh, okay. So um, I'm more inspired to play this now because I've got this copy here and I've never played it. So I kind of want to play it now because the yeah. Spirits is the successor and the gameplay looks really fun. The, honestly, I, I, I saw the trailer during the, the event. It looked eh. To me, I, when, I, when I watched some of the treehouse footage, it the looked a lot better. The treehouse sold me. Yeah, yeah the, the event didn't sell me. The treehouse looked a lot me. better. The trailer mm -hmm. was total crap, I thought. And um, you go into, like, a Neo LA, I kind of want to explore that city. That th this cool. isn't really my style of game. Uh, I'm, I'm happy it's on... I'm happy it's exclusive to this console, because... The, not many Everything's games, an exclusive this console, John. This is the <laughs> pretty ultimate much, exclusive yeah, console. This is, yeah, this is the exclusive console. Yeah, you get movie day. games, Lego games, and exclusives. Yeah. Which is actually kind of cool because, like, this makes Nintendo make all this awesome content that you don't get anywhere else. <laughs> it's true, but... Well, but sad, because sad. third parties will... Hopefully will eventually hop on once they do that. Or put out the games they've already made. Yeah, like, like Ubisoft. Yeah. Jerks. Are you there? Did you freeze? A developer. One of the developers... One of the developers said... Uh, it costs way too much to money to make uh, a female character. Who said that? What are you talking about? I think it was Ubisoft. I'm not sure. Uh, oh, for the Assassin's Creed thing? Yeah, yeah. So Tomb Raider's just, they've been, like... It's, you know... They've been broke. They, they've been broke because of that, you know. It's an expensive... Those boob mechanics, you know, are really expensive to oh, do. Oh, God. <laughs> oh, boy. So, uh, next... Uh, any more on Xenoblade Chronicles? I think it's pretty cool. Um, uh... I think it's taken too long for that game to come out. It's going to be out in Japan this summer, I think. So I think it's all localization effort in that. They said 2015 for us, right? Yep. Golly. And a, this was a GameStop exclusive, you know, like Chronicles, when it came to the United States. This, I feel, will be a much more wide release, which is good. I hope so. Yes. <laughs> so next up is Kirby and the Rainbow Curse. So we have Yarn. Now we have clay. I just feel like Nintendo's playing in this like art house all day. Yeah, the yeah, it looks it looks pretty. It looks very good. Honestly, I saw. Did you I, play Canvas Curse? No, I heard I this is kind of pick a it sequel. Up. Yeah, I heard Canvas Curse has like a cult following of people that just love this DS game. Really? Yeah. No, I never played it. This. I, I really like the art style. It looks really cool. It does. When I watched this, I watched the Yoshi trailer again, and then I noticed actually a, there's a little bit of clay in the Yoshi game as well. Huh. Kind of holding things together. So this is one of the games textures. that really does take advantage of the gamepad in a cool way. Yeah. As honestly, well as Mario Maker, as well as oh yeah. Captain Toad, I think, uh, for sure. Captain Toad, yeah. The, Captain Toad, they show some like pointing and shooting with the gyro. Yeah, so they um, did show off a lot of uh, gamepad stuff here. I think um, this game... This game might, is like all gamepad, though. Yeah, <laughs> I think it might take a little too much advantage of the gamepad. Because you're controlling by just drawing a line yeah. which this play Kirby goes on. Like, every, which, time I, yeah. every time I saw someone play the game, they never looked up. Like, not once. 
It, yeah, this I is like saw... a not a TV game. Well, this is where well, this is one of those gamepad games where your audience uses the TV for entertainment while you play it. I'm yeah, I mean, it's it's interesting. I'm, it, I'm sure I'll get it. I'm sure I'll play it. I'm sure it'll be fun. But it's just strange, like that the entire game really is on the gamepad. Like I never, honestly, I never saw anyone look up while playing it. Um, I think it'll be a lot of fun though. It's I'm sure it'll be fun. Yeah. I mean, I I really want to pick up Canvas Curse because I. I've I've just now realized and been looking into it how much people love that game. And this is kind of fan service I feel for a lot of those people because it's a game that they thought got forgotten about kind of thing. Uh, so, anything else in Kirby? It's pretty. It's pretty. Yeah. It looks. Uh, it looks 2015. Cool. 2015. 2015. <laughs> I think 2015. Uh, except for Hyrule Warriors, September 26th. Yeah, this that game's is looking a lot better. I yeah, think. you have Midnight you can control us now. Cool. So they said, I think it was in the Treehouse or an interview. There's been so much stuff it's hard to remember. But they said a lot, pretty much any character you've ever wanted to play as. Tingle, I want to kill people with Tingle. Oh, no, I want to be Skull Kid from Majora's Mask. Oh, they do have the moon from Majora's Mask. So, yeah, if they let me play a Skull Kid, I'm A Goron, I'm I can just down. roll over my enemies. <laughs> I mean, that'd be cool. This game looks so like... Let's see what they put in there. It looks so like not. This is a pretty, game though. you come out at the end of the day. You want a punching bag. This is your punching bag. Game. Yeah, it's so like not pretty though. I'm kind of disappointed in how it looks in some regards, but okay. It's a little. It's trying to be too realistic, I think, and it's not working out for it. And it's, I think this will I mean, be it, the best Dynasty Warriors game to ever be made. Oh, I don't doubt that at all. <laughs> um, <laughs> but uh, they have a lot I, of pressure to uh, to do well with this. Yeah, they do have a lot of pressure to do well with this. Nintendo is definitely helping them out a ton. I just think I we've seen better looking games, and I'm with all this. Maybe it'll look better on my TV, but I was just kind of disappointed in how the kind of the now, art, cool art, feature art direction is, of the game. Say you have a friend over, John. You can play two player yes. co op. Second player, they're on the game pad. Yeah, this is how multiplayer should be. That, yeah, I mean, that's how Sonic Racing was, and it's awesome. So I was super psyched when they revealed that. It's yeah. cool. That's very cool. That's how it should be. So, um, do you feel that Hyrule Warriors is what is stopping Majora's Mask from being a thing this year? Because too much Zelda? Yeah. Um, Could that be it? So I was shocked we didn't get a uh, no, Majora's I've been, Mask. No, I've been thinking about Majora's Mask, and the more I think, the more I, th I think that Ocarina made sense because they needed to sell systems, and they knew people would buy it. They don't. They're not in that position anymore. And I don't they've even been do. trolling the Majora's Mask crowd. <laughs> they've been though. trolling because people have been asking. But if people weren't asking, I don't know how much trolling they would be doing. Um, I could see them totally doing it next year. Still, I'm not saying it's happening. Uh, well, if if Zelda U gets delayed in the 2016, boom, definitely happening next year, right? Well, I think even like next spring, this would Majora's Mask would be a good game because yeah, on, honestly, they don't they don't have much on the horizon for the 3DS. The th this is an all Wii U show. We should point that out. It's like all Wii U and like two 3DS games. We'll talk about which those. Which is though. good. Which yes, is, this is, is the Wii U show, and they needed that. They really yeah, did. Yeah, they did. So, uh, um, but I, so I can see it happening. But I'm I, I just, I think Ocarina happened because it needed to happen for the 3DS. I don't think Majora's Mask has to oh, happen. Yes. Like people. Like, people think it has to happen. I will hunt it. Well, they have I the mean, engine there. It's like, all your hard work is done. You have the engine already developed. Just yeah, throw that game in there. I mean, I want it. I want Just it real bad. Because I played it on the S64, and it, it would look it's so not beautiful. Better. It's not beautiful anymore. Whoa, it's better looking than Ocarina. I never tried Ocarina on the N64. Oh, wow. It is horrible. It is so hideous. <laughs> it is really bad. The 3DS version is so beautiful. Oh, yeah. It, when I, like, I, didn't re I never played the 3DS version, and when I saw someone playing it, and I picked it up. They let me try it it's out. It's definitely worth taking oh, yeah. a copy one day just to replay that. Well, they're on sale right now. It is, as shot. well as Sonic All-Star Racing is transformed for 20 bucks. Yeah, that's good. Well, that's I already awesome. have it, but, yeah, uh, you know, digitally. That's how much it always is on Amazon. <laughs> oh, is it? Okay. I got it for, like, 10 bucks, I think, or something. I, I I bought it when it was pretty new. I think I paid like forty bucks for it. Yeah. It's a good game. It's worth worth its price. If it was worth paying when there was nothing else to play on the Wii U. Yeah. So, um Zelda U. No title really. Just we're just calling it Zelda for Wii U. Yep. Uh twenty fifteen. Uh this is the one I'm most doubtful of. Yeah, right. I don't see it. You don't see it? They no. always delay Zelda games, right? No. They always announce the date and then delay the year. This game is not coming out in twenty fifteen. 
Are, are they? Do you think they're further along than they lead on? They released Sky... Uh, Sky... Um... Oh, I'm going to get so... What Skyward was the last Sword? Yes. <laughs> <laughs> I haven't played that one it's yet. It's been so a while. It's, it's a long... 2009, right? Yeah, Is that Skyward it's been Sword? I, I mean, I think they've been working on this one for a while, but I, I think it's not ready. I don't think... I think well, it's, it's going to be so dynamic that it's this it's, it's a like, lot of work, yeah. So I was I was watching the um, Day Zero recap from Giant Bomb, and the the game they were describing what they wanted uh, is exactly what Anuma described in one of his reveal. I thought that was like amazing that oh they <laughs> you know are doing what they wanted. This is a totally open world. Back to even in the Giant Bomb, they said. I want a game that goes back to the original Legend of Zelda, where you're just exploring this open field and make that in the, mm-hmm. the and that's what it is. You have this yep. huge open field, and you just get to explore it and go on crazy uh, quests and stuff. And the art style is awesome. It feels like a mixture between Wind Waker and Skyward Sword. Oh, it totally is, 100. percent It's yeah, like it looks the great. Best of both, I think. Um, now, Link, I don't was not confirmed to be in this trailer. Uh, the, what are you talking about? Link? <laughs> he saw Link in the trailer. Anuma said, oh, that's not necessarily Link. Anuma said it was Link. In an no, he video. said it's not necessarily Link. He said, I never said it wasn't Link, but he said it, it is. I Link. have a suspicion. He's, and then there... and he said in another thing that, oh, you have to have Link in your trailer to reveal Zelda. He said that. It's Link. I, I don't know. It could Who be like a cousin be? of Link. Like it could be in the no, same family. No, like, it's yeah. Link. I'm gonna find that interview where he said you have to have Link in a Zelda reveal. Do you think this is a female Link then? Why no? It's why but would it be that? Why would it be female? Why not? They're mixing it up. No, I don't. I don't think Link this, this saves Link the looks more I feminine think, than past I, Links. I think it looks more anime. I don't think it looks more. Because, like, the hair's longer and stuff got, like that. He's got ponytails. I mean... Like, what guy has ponytails? <laughs> Come on. <laughs> I had long hair. Yeah. I, I actually work with a guy with a ponytail, so... <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Um, so, I mean, it's totally more anime, more Japanese, but I don't think it's a woman. I don't think it I think really it might not be Link, looks though. like a woman. I don't think I, it's Link, though. I think you're completely 100% wrong. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because he's wearing, like, he's literally wearing stuff that Link wore in other games. He's wearing a blue, uh... T- a blue, yeah, just like in Wind Waker, he's wearing... Oh, he, uh, he was wearing pajamas in Wind Waker. Those no, he's pajamas. wearing a blue stuff in Wind Waker with the same symbols on it. It's okay. Link. Okay. Now, do you think this is a sequel to Skyward Sword or a sequel like The Wind Waker? Where is this going to fall in the, the timeline? I don't, I don't think we know. I think we, we don't know no yet. Clue. No clue. Like, the art makes me think it could be after Skyward Sword, maybe, but I never played the game, so I don't know how it ends. I don't think they're going along with... I don't think art style has to do with the timeline. Timeline? No, maybe not. I mean, I know, I mean, with Ocarina and Majora's Mask, they're on the same timeline, obviously. But those, I kind of want this to be a sequel. sequel to all the Wind Waker... Like, after Phantom Hourglass, I want this to be, like, the game after all those. Well, Wind Waker took place, like, long, a- long it after did. Ocarina. Yeah, um, it did. So, the Earth would have to, like, everything would have to, I don't it's, know. Like, Skyward Sword was, like, a, the origin story. This could be, like, This might be times, somewhere in between, uh, between in between Skyward Sword and Ocarina time. Yeah, see that. Yeah, it'll be interesting to see how it maybe does. maybe this is the new first Zelda. Maybe. Well, you know, there's lasers in this one, John. So it has to be futuristic, <laughs> right? This is like really, you know. <laughs> I really like uh, how they were talking about how you can just walk anywhere. Like you can walk to that mountain far away. There's like a volcano in the distance yeah. you can walk to. And I really hope in the the way they describe these enemies, like the enemy that comes out in this trailer is. I mean, I think it's really cool. And the the the, the bow nowhere. that um, the character uses is like a laser. Link uses <laughs> the character. <laughs> I'm not going to say Link. either way. It might not be Link. They've never shown a a thing with a. They're changing Zelda it up, without... John. They're changing it up. I think you're insane. But yeah, the other the the weapon looked like futuristic. Like this could be a futuristic Zelda game. Who knows? Except for Nuna. <laughs> so anything else on Zelda U for now? Um. I want it. <laughs> I do too. Give it, give, to me. give it now. I uh, think I think a couple of people this week bought Wii U's after they saw it. 
There are a lot of people at Smash Event that did not own Wii U's that are definitely buying them when Smash comes out. Or earlier. <laughs> really? Like, at Best Buy, you encountered that? Yeah, quite a few, actually. A lot of 3DS when, owners. Why did they... Did you, like, talk to them why they didn't own Wii U's yet? The, they didn't have enough money for it yet, kind of thing. Oh, okay, so it's like they can't afford mainly that, it. Mainly that was it. Okay. Mainly, yeah. Um, but the Best Buy I did have a $30 off uh, 3DS or Wii U on the a coupon thing they handed out. So you could have gotten the Mario Kart bundle for 300 bucks, which is the lowest I've seen it for. Pretty cool. So, um, moving on. Pokemon was then revealed uh, again, kind of thing. It, uh, I thought it was another Zelda montage. It looked like someone, like a Zelda character exploring like the real world. Did you what get that vibe? Talking about? What were we talking about? The Pokemon reveal. Oh, I saw a Pokeball in his bag, so oh, okay. I kind of figured... But they just show, they basically just showed more gameplay that we've never seen before. Yeah, because right? we haven't seen any gameplay, right? No, we had not, no. So it was kind of cool. Um, and November 21st is a confirmed launch date for that. So, you know, we'll be getting Smash and Pokemon very close together. I'm not sure that is good for my, my, my body, <laughs> being all tied up with that. I think uh, Pokemon might get forgotten for a little bit while I play Smash. Man, I hope it, they fix some of the frame rate stuff. It doesn't look like I they fixed so. anything in this game. No, I don't think so. Do you think they'll patch in a, a, a Mii support? Amiibo? Support? Amiibo support, yeah. Well, for Pokemon, you think they would, because that's like money in the bank. That's like, they could sell 800 figures. <laughs> yeah. Oh. Uh, I mean, I, I think they said that little adapter for the 3DS wouldn't be out until next year. Right. So I wonder if they'll patch it in. Maybe. Because they normally like to do something extra with these remakes that makes it above and beyond a normal Pokemon game, because you've already played it well, some of them that like leaf green and red fire red they did like extra stuff at the end of the game yeah but, so uh, just soul silver yeah so i i hope so so yeah we'll see um next up on my list bayonetta 2 yeah which also comes with bayonetta 1 bayonetta 1 digitally i i am hearing it's all digital oh it's so, digitally oh that's... so you register in club nintendo then you get like a free download code I think is how it works I kind of hope they give you a disc as well as like an option because they want both of those physically maybe I don't know. but either way I'm happy because I never played Bayonetta 1 so now I think I have to play 1 first right is that like I have to do that like I don't think I should start with 2 without playing 1 alright so sorry uh, yeah I mean I want to play I was reading this Zelda stuff <laughs> yeah um so I, I wasn't interested in Bayonetta until they said that it's coming with Bayonetta 1. Basically because you hadn't played the first one. Yet. Yeah, I haven't played the first one. And, and this is two games in one. What a it's, deal. It's two games in one, and they showed off the Nintendo costumes, which yes, uh, kind of yeah, sparked cool. some interest to me. For and me. that's only for Bayonetta 1, I think, the costumes. Oh, really? Yeah. Even, even still. Pretty sure. But that makes it even better, because like Bayonetta 1, I think, is the... It's going to look a lot worse. I, I'm not sure how much of a... It's not going to be up there graphically. It's probably going to be better than your PS3 or Xbox 360 versions, but it's not quite Bayonetta 2 level of graphics. What system did Bayonetta come out on? It came PS3 out on and PS3? 360. Okay. I think it'll look better, because I think they'll probably do more with the lighting and particles. I don't think it's and... taken a year and a half for them to make Bayonetta 1 again. So they spent some time on this. Yeah, which is cool. This wasn't like a gut reaction after Wonderful 101 didn't do so hot for them. This is, they've been working on this a while. <laughs> Uh, yeah, they definitely were working on it. I think maybe the original game didn't reach the audience they wanted on those systems. That's why they brought it to Nintendo, and that's kind of why they were repolishing it up, making it maybe you know what they originally wanted it to be, or more you know in line with that. Yeah. Um, the Princess Peach costume looks hilarious. Though. Yeah, uh, yeah, you're definitely gonna see some cosplay. I think this Halloween of people doing the Bayonetta stuff. <laughs> uh, but yeah, it's cool. I'm glad it's another exclusive on a Nintendo system. You can't get yeah, anywhere else. Absolutely. And I think October, is that right? That's what they said. I think it was early October, too. I think they said, like, the 13th okay. or something like yeah, that. Yeah, I was just a date to attach. I didn't have a date here They yet, flashed so. it, I think. I wrote it. Wait, hold on. Do I have it written okay. down? No, they just said October. Um, okay. But either way, that's being awesome. That'll hold so us I, over for... It's two games, so that's basically... That'll definitely yeah, hold us over for a long time. Definitely, yeah. Uh, for Smash when it comes out. I have this quote from Anuma. Um, okay, let's read in full from, here. From E3. Yes. So this is um, off the show floor. Someone asked him. He said, it's a rumor. Actually, that's a comment I made jokingly. It's not that I said it wasn't Link. It's I never said that it was Link. 
It's not really the same thing, but I can't understand how it could be taken that way. It seems that it has kind of taken off where some people are saying, oh, it's a female character, and it just kind of grew. But my intent was saying that it was, oh, my intent was saying that it was humor. You know you have to show Link when you're showing a trailer for a Zelda announcement. I don't want people to get hung up on this, what Link, what Link looks like otherwise, because ultimately Link represents the player in the game. I don't want to define him so much as it becomes limiting to the players. I want players to focus on other parts of the trailer and not specifically the characters, because the character Link represents, again, you, the player. So it is Link okay. in this trailer. Okay, <laughs> fine. Way to ruin our no speculations. Way. No way, this is a new saying it. I don't want to ruin speculations. I want Link to be my... Yeah. person in my Zelda trailer. No, that's, <laughs> that's what I want. Okay, I like that. That's, cool. Well, I like, whatever. Yeah. Good. Thank you, Anuma. <laughs> yeah, thank you, Anuma, for <laughs> Thank, thank you, EverythingNintendo.com, for <laughs> posting <laughs> this. Uh, uh, yeah. So, so Bayonetta 2. So, we're getting uh, Hyrule Warriors, Bayonetta 2 this year, and Bayonetta 1, Smash Brothers, uh, Toad. Stuff. So we're getting a fair amount. Yeah, it's that's it's, 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 a key satisfied there. It's a very different lineup than last fall. Very different, where we had like Wind Waker, Pikmin, and we had more happy, lucky games last year. <laughs> this is the, the more yeah. adult. Uh, <laughs> this is the more adult lineup. I feel. It's yeah. It's more more adult lineup. It's more like oh, these are games that have had time to develop. I think the Smash the Adrian was phenomenal. I had kids at the event I, I was right before me. They were like five years old and just having a blast. <laughs> they were they were so yeah. funny and Kid, cute yeah. and adorable. Smash will be awesome. And then there were older people like in their fifties uh, and stuff. It was a crazy age range. It brought everyone together. Yeah. Uh, so the next game. Is my game of the show. This is the game I flipped out about. This is the game I, uh, you know, spilled some ink on. You know, <laughs> I think we're yeah. I think I think this, this is this is the game. This is the yeah, awesome. Yeah. This is I'm more excited about this almost than I am Zelda because Zelda is a known quantity. I knew they were going to do better and maybe do open world. This is, you know, we talked about Mario Paintball this many times. No, on the this show. is it. This is everything this is exactly we wanted Mario Paintball, we, yeah. but better. This is. A new IP from Nintendo on a home console that will get a retail release most likely. And Oh yeah, this is retail. Yeah. So Splatoon is the game we are talking about. You play a human that transforms into a squid, <laughs> kind of like a Pixar character would maybe. Um, and uh, your goal in this uh, game, it's a four, uh, the, the version they shut off today was a four versus four online third person action shooter. But your goal is to cover the map in your uh, team's ink color. So you have like a paintball gun, and your goal is to just cover as, as much as possible, and it's percentage-based at the end of the game. Uh, so if you kill people, that helps you get points and be the better player, but ultimately it's about covering the map in your ink. And when you step on other people's color ink, you slow down like you're in uh, thick mud or something, and uh, you can turn the squid form, they go really fast, you can hide in your own ink by just sitting there and jumping out. <laughs> uh, you can... Uh, with the gamepad, instantly jumped any person on your team to get back into the battle, uh, which is awesome. And oh, it looks so good, John. This looks so good. Yeah, it's pretty much what exactly what we were asking for, I think. Yeah, I, yeah, yeah exactly. I mean, uh, it's a shooter from Nintendo that is not violent, um, yeah. <laughs> and it looks like fun. It's like Mario Kart so for nice. a shooter. That's actually Reggie. Mentioned yeah. that he said it's Mario Kart and for the IGN uh, confirmed in an interview with the developers they are going to have a single player campaign mode or some kind of oh, like story mode thank or something. God. Yeah, that was so awesome. this will yeah so we'll have online shooter. I'm sure there will be local abilities there. Um, yeah, they, they confirmed I, this that. will be a that, much yeah. more. So they showed this one mode, this one map. I they're going to flesh this out, and in 2015 we're going to have this really fleshed out shooter game for Nintendo and I, I love the tweet that Nintendo brought the most innovative and fun shooter to E3 this year because they did. They absolutely did. Yeah, it's, I mean it, I am really, like, this is my game of the, the week, I, or game of the E3, I think. Cause, I was like yelling when I saw this at home. I was like, oh my god <laughs> look at this. This is great. Yeah, like, it took me, it took me a few like a minute or two of watching it to really realize what was going on and that it was a Nintendo game and that it was a shooter and that I was like, because, <laughs> yes. yes. yeah, yes. this is, ex honestly, I think a few episodes ago, if you went back, this is exactly what me, you, and Aaron yes. were asking or talking about. We predicted about this, but this is better because it's like they developed characters around this gameplay style and make yeah. it perfect. Yeah. 
as Nintendo mm-hmm. likes to do, they don't it's new. make... It's Yeah. Yeah, it, I honestly am more happy that they did new characters than just throwing more Nintendo characters Absolutely. into game. Absolutely, so much yeah. better. Yeah, I'm really Man, happy about this game. And this game, I'm sure they'll be expanded upon with lots of, you know, new weapons and download stuff, and this is a game I could see myself playing for a long, long time. I wonder if there'll be a competitive scene and there'll be, like, tournaments with this, like, when they so. do Smashlers. This could explode. This could be, like, I don't know... It's, a lot of people send this isn't enough reason to buy Wii U. I would buy Wii U just to play Splatoon if you know the if it if it's done right at the end. I mean, for the show today or this week was for great. a lot of people. This isn't a game they buy just the Wii U for, but this plus every other game yeah. Nintendo has is like just a yeah, drop in the bucket. Literally Splatoon. a pain. Get it? Oh my gosh, <laughs> this is like this is my this yeah, is my new favorite shocked. Nintendo yeah. franchise. I was yeah. pretty shocked when they showed. I mean, this is what they needed for a while, a while I think. Something yeah. Like no, totally. This is, yeah, as you said, bringing the shooter market to everybody. Yeah. And the cool thing they kind of explained is, even if you're a newbie, you're like five years old, you can still help your team by defending home base and coloring your area by mm-hmm. the safer part of the map. And then the more advanced players can venture out and yeah. do more uh, damage there. But yeah, it's a, a game of designed strategies. with something. Yeah, absolutely. Yeah, so. a lot of strategies. If you watch the, the, the treehouse stuff, there's a lot of gameplay footage. So um, there's a lot of different weapons. I saw a, a, a paint Bombs bazooka, and stuff. a yeah. bomb. Uh, I mean, it just looks like so much it's fun. It's so much fun. I, it, I want it yesterday. I want it now. Come yeah, on. I wanted it as soon as I saw it. And but I want it flushed out, and I want it to be a complete game. That I mean, it looks good, though. Though. It looks there's like there's good lighting. I mean, it looks a lot better visually than, like, say, Hyrule Warriors does. So, John, we need to find a fourth person for our Splatoon squad. We got Aaron for the third... <laughs> We need to find a fourth for the, the squad. So, I'm sure we'll learn a lot more about this game in the next year. Um, I want to know more about the characters and can I, like, customize how they look and, like, can I have yeah. my character that, you know, I that's with me on Can my me and... turn into a Splatoon dude? Oh, come on, no. Stop with no. Mies don't... This game... I don't think Mies would fit in well with this game. No? I, I can't have a squid me? <laughs> no, I mean, this this looks a lot no, like... No, I agree. I think for the their first... Different, for... yeah. Just like for the first game in the franchise, they should keep it pure and have all Splatoon guys in there. Yeah, this is really cool. I'm, I but mean, this is showing kind of like, it, this felt to me like, um, you have Disney, right, with all these established characters and stuff, and then you have Pixar, the new blood in the, the scene that uh, is doing cool stuff. This felt like the Pixar division of Nintendo, where it's these are the young bucks that have cool <laughs> ideas, that uh, this is yeah. like, this is out of the, the new... The new brain of Nintendo, the, the younger guys. I, I mean, I'm right, I, honestly, I have a lot of questions about how this came to be. Did Nintendo say we need something in this genre? You guys go make it. Did some of their teams can't come to them and say we have these ideas? Um, I really love to know how this kind of got started. They explained and, part of that in the uh, uh, aquarium. They love to go places in this video. They went to the court. Yeah, I mean, yeah, they, they talked. To, they really just mentioned a little the guy's bit about like, like, yeah, my kid said, wouldn't it be great if we had squids is, is shooting each other? They're like, yeah, let's make a <laughs> game out of it. I want to know that, like, though, was this what, like, is this a well, part how this of Nintendo? Created, yeah, like, yeah. how like was this a part of Nintendo's strategy for a shooter? Um, it's not first person for anyone who hasn't seen it. It's, no, it's, it's third it's, person. It's third person. I'm wondering if there'll be like a first person. There might view. be a mode where you have first person. Um, I don't think there'd be a reason why not. It's it more be, well, the squid, wel- it's more welcoming being third person. It's more welcoming being third person. I think it for the with the paint and everything, you're gonna want to get more visual of the area. Well, if it's person first person, that. I feel like you'd have to have paint blocking your vision if it was first person. Oh, that's a good point. Yeah. Um, plus, with first person, I'm not sure how you diving into the paint and controlling that. Would yeah, be. that would be a bit messy. Uh, but sorry it, for the pun. But. It looks very. It looks. I mean, honestly, that's the most excited I've been for a new game in a while. I. I yeah. I yeah. really want to play this. Like, I want. I want. You shop demo this. Have it oh, explode yeah, at the end of the week. That'd be awesome. Man. Yeah. Can't wait. This, this, Splatoon 2015. Oh, so you think in spring? I think this is the Mario Kart 8 May 30th release next year. This has. This is gonna be the pre E3. Just everyone's going crazy with Splatoon. And they'll have a month of hype like they did with Mario Kart 8 where the press will have it a month early and they're just, like, making everyone so excited. This is the, It feels like a natural fit for that spot. Cool. I can see that. I'm so excited, John. This is, <laughs> this is like, the game I've dreamed of in my, my dreams for a long time. If they had given you a choice at Best Buy to play this or Smash, which would you have played? This? Well, oh. soon. Come on. Absolutely. 
Smash is a known quantity for me. I know it's going to be fun and great. <laughs> but I also know this is going to be fun and great, but I've never experienced this at all before. It looks fun, yeah. Yeah. I, I, yeah, I hope this is out by E3 next year, because I want it by then. <laughs> it can't be... Uh, can't. I mean, it looks like it's pretty far along. I don't think they showed as much, but I think it's farther along than we... Yeah, I hope so, at least. I mean, it looks good. It looks great. Um, so to close up the show... They, they announced Palatina, and then they showed Miyamoto, and they used this wonderful Gaussian blur on all the screens he was working on. <laughs> and it's Star Fox. It's it showed, Star Fox. They showed an R-Wing, yeah. They did. It and looks alpha beta, though. It looks this like This looks primitive. like, yeah. This they looks like mechanics. Yeah. It looks like Miyamoto was driving his way to E3, and they said, "Hey, Miyamoto, can you start working on a Star Fox?" And he was like, "Okay," and he literally like made a few things because it looks so. It looked really alpha beta to me. Well, you said this is the 2015 game. This oh, this is... isn't even a 2015 game. This is a 2016 game. No, but he said this would be a really quick development cycle because. Uh, of... Oh, because yeah. they're, they're doing the shorter, like, installments Well, all Star Foxes like are short. But here's my uh, notion. I'm not the first to think of this. So they showed... They didn't really just, show Star Fox at all. Just they, visually. They showed, it didn't look finished at all. They showed Project Guard. They showed Giant Robot. My idea here is all of the stuff they showed It's there. one game. You think it's, it's one all game. Because, like, no, no, it really is. Because, like, Star Fox might have a base, and he's using the Project Guard ideas to defend his base, and maybe he jumps in a giant robot and is fighting other people, and then he jumps in his R-Wing. Like, that could all fit into one universe as one uh, game. I don't know. I don't know. Like, think it so. could. It could, but I think they want to have some new, fresh IP, and they got to separate it from their old stuff. And the robot thing is not going into Star Fox. You don't think so? It kind of looked like a Star Fox thing. I don't I mean, know because this would make it like it Star looked, Fox actually does a lot of cool things with the gamepad. It at that looked point. very alpha. It looked very beta. I'll tell you that the footage I saw looked pretty beta, but I don't know. I feel like all three of those three could fit in the one game. I'm not and sure if it they, will. I they don't could, know. but I don't think they will. I think they. Yeah. Want, I think they want new things that people are you know consider brand new and. New, sure. You know, just new stuff, and they can't do now that. Now they did mention, um, Mimoto mentioned they're looking for a developer to work with on this one, so they'll kind of do a second oh, Star Fox. Really? This. Mimoto will direct it. Yeah. I I would love to see Retro handle it. Oh, but I I think they're first party though. I don't think they'd be oh, on that. Oh yeah, you're right. Even even still, I because it could be um, the guys that did Luigi's Mansion too. Maybe we didn't hear from them this, this show. I don't even remember the name of that studio. I don't either. They do a lot of good stuff, though. <laughs> um, <laughs> they, they, they do a lot of they do a lot of short games too, because like Luigi, Luigi's Mansion is pretty short, right? It was, yeah. I mean, it was like twenty hours for me, I think. Oh, really? The, I yeah, it was long. The Mansion original was, like was five short. hours. Yeah. Yeah, the original <laughs> was very short. So, did you watch Project Guard or Project Giant Robot at all? I watched a little bit of it. Uh, it looks a lot of fun, but it doesn't. It, I know it's far in the distance, so it's hard for me to get excited about it. Well, those are 2015 games as well, John. They say that. Yeah, they say that. Um, but sure. they're smaller games. So that, that could, I mean, that, that, yeah. Could yeah, they're smaller games. I'm excited Project about Guard it. looks the better of the two. Pro- Project Giant Robot looks like, uh, I'm not so sure about that one. <laughs> Project Giant Robot looks <laughs> like it needs a lot of polishing. Let's say As far that. as controls, like I'm moving my head and standing up, like it's weird. I don't yeah, know. it looks like they're. That seems kinda... like a, that seems like an Oculus Rift game would be awesome for that. It seems like they're shoehorning, they're kind of shoehorning the gamepad into it. Uh, like that's yeah, that's that's virtual reality kind of interface that looks like to me. Just like the animations and the way the physics were working, it seemed very early in development to me. Um, yeah. Maybe that's how they wanted it. It could kind of look floaty. Kind of looked like the characters didn't weren't really aware of. You know that they were like yeah, I don't know. It just looked very alpha beta to me. Well, it looked like Not, a game that like you should have a VR headset on with a Wii remote in each hand and some Wii remote <laughs> staff to your legs, <laughs> so it would like, know your kicks and yeah, yeah. I don't know. It seems like that kind of game. So but Project the, Guard really does excite me. So that game, yeah, I didn't see too much on that. That's like where you're just guarding like a space station or something. It's tower defense in a cool way where you basically set up these cameras at the beginning of the game. And these cameras uh, fire at lasers. And on the TV screen, you have all 12 cameras, and on your gamepad, you control one and aim and shoot with one. So the idea is the players in the, the audience in the room yells out, camera one, camera one, and you go camera one and do it. Ah, uh, um, see, this is so that's, cool. Yeah, 
but I'm sure you can do it single player just a little bit harder that way. But uh, that's a cool party. And the the Rob the Robot is the character you're defending against. Yes, <laughs> isn't that great? I, I love. Yeah, I'll buy that just because of that. Yeah. So yeah, some those were a couple of Miyamoto's kind of ideas he's been working on as far as the gamepad stuff. And the giant, uh, the Project Guard is the coolest I think of those three so far. They also mentioned that Miyamoto was behind the last update for the Wii U. That he, yeah, he personally wanted to make sure the launch pad or whatever they're calling that quick launch, quick start, menu quick launch, was, yeah. was working to how it should. Or, so I thought, that yeah, was so he wanted to make it an experience where he was basically talking about how you know the game, the Wii U. We want to make this the the the, the device you have on all the time. You know, you'll be watching Netflix. You'll you know we want to make it easy and fun to use all the time. Mm-hmm. And the the quick launch really has made it much more fun to use. I mean, it's I'm getting in the games faster. I mean, that's yeah, fun. you definitely are. A lot and uh, they they did do a little uh, push out of a uh, little eShop sale thing, which I can't look at because my Wii U is still hostage to Nintendo. Your Wii U is still hostage. Yeah, they haven't emailed me yet. I can't move into my. Well, new you know, game. at E3, all the folks in the support team are probably at E3, just having fun, you know. I hope they're not. They live in <laughs> Washington, right? Yeah. Yeah. They better not be. So is your other Wii U just unplugged now? It's unplugged. It's waiting to like. I I I'm not gonna sell it till like I had I know for certain yeah. all my games are on my new system. Did you figure out the Linux thing yet? Yeah, I haven't even looked into it. Okay. It's, 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 I'm going to have this hard drive. Someday I'll look into it. Honestly, it's just my 3D World save I really want because I'm so yeah. close to, you know. I played the last level again. It's really hard. It's so hard. Unlockable. It's impossible. Yeah, it's, it's, it's I try again. It's like I'm not getting through this. this is, yeah. I, 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 I was so bad when I got back into it after a couple of months. It's like I, I am a lot worse at this game now. Yeah, I need to watch the speed run of that last level because I, I, I don't even think I've made it halfway through it. But I haven't um, either. It's a big level. So anyways, let's get in there. It's more announcements. Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, for, before we get to those, I want to just bring up a, a point. So Reggie has a problem. You know, He has two of these 3DSs things. He has a gold one and a blue one. And uh, he was just teasing. He was talking about this on Trios Live. How I have two 3DSs. You know, I the I have separate games on each of them, and people look at me like I'm weird carrying around two 3DSs. And I thought he was like building this up to a point where we're announcing a unified account system where you can download your games and saves will be online and they'll be pushed down. But he ended this with just saying, um, the trio was kind of joking, you should just get a holster, Reggie, and that's where they left it. That was <laughs> such a tease. Such a tease, uh... Reggie. I was hoping for like. Yes, you have that. I have ten of these things. You know, you make your money in hardware from me, so please, a unified account system would have been great on that. They should have announced that. That would have been great. But instead, oh, Nintendo's going to come out with a 3DS holster. I, yeah, I think IGN asked him about the network IDs, too, and he kind of blew it off. Yeah, he said, you know, it's something we're working on or something. He didn't even say that. He said it's an important platform for us or something. Yeah, they, he said it was like the third pillar for them as far as... You know, software hardware. Yeah, but it was such a tease on Trios Live. It was so annoying. It's like, oh, I was getting so excited too, and then he just like, oh, man. <laughs> uh, Reggie also mentioned to Polygon, one of our favorite websites. Yeah, he, <laughs> Reggie's making the rounds this week. Yeah, I think he always does that during E3. That's why I love E3s because. And the Sony president was out. on the uh, IGN podcast for like 40 minutes just answering all sorts of questions, being really off the cuff, which is cool. Yeah, Reggie told Polygon that uh, the week. Mario Kart came out, the sales quadrupled, the Wii U sales quadrupled for the system, which is awesome. Yeah. But, you know, some people might say quadrupling. From what? Yeah, <laughs> quadrupling nothing. It doesn't really make much. It doesn't, you know, zero times four equals nothing. I'll be curious what their um, next announcement is as far as Wii U sales. Because like, they sold 1.2 million in the first three days. So that's yeah. He, uh, he as also, far as Mario Kart 8. He also said 18% of all Wii U consoles owners purchased Mario Kart in the first weekend. So that's about a fifth. Um, that's a pretty good hatch, right? So yeah, that if you, plus if you do the math of one point two million, I think that's a lot of consoles sold just for this game. And that's just game. the first weekend. I'd imagine they're selling some during this E three week when everyone's talking about. No, Nintendo. yeah, I, no, I've seen multiple people on Reddit <laughs> say, "Yeah, I'm buying a Wii U this week because of what I saw." They thought and Nintendo stole. There was the show. a Mac rumors post, you know, asking like, "Sell me on a Wii U," and I think I sold someone on a Wii U when they asked. That. Really? <laughs> yeah, yeah. 
for sure. Um, and I was getting backed up by other people that in the past I would have been like, this guy's stupid. And now it's like, yeah, let's go for it. So I, I feel like the vibe is getting much and much better. I, I feel like Nintendo won E3. Like they totally dominated this year. So I, I had the feeling they dominated. I, Kotaku everything. did too, I think, right? I yeah, I mean, sites. yeah. From everyone else, it just seemed like the same old stuff. Just from you know, up res from last year, pretty much. Oh, it looks a little bit better yeah. than last year's version. Oh, there's now four player instead of two player co op. It's I mean, and don't get co op was huge at, at my, my Xbox's yeah. event. There was like a weird push for co op. I'm gonna talk to Aaron about that. So if, <laughs> um, uh, Aaron owns the Xbox One, so. Um, and Aaron and I are going to do a show tomorrow, so I'm going to talk a little bit of the Xbox stuff, because there's some interesting stuff in there I want to talk about him with. The, I mean, um, yeah, don't get me wrong, Assassin's Creed Unity looks really, really beautiful. And uh, Project, uh, the uh, Sunset Overdrive looks Oh, cool. that, yeah. It, it looks that, like Tony Hawk as a shooter, which yeah, is Yeah, if there was any game I wish was on Wii U, it's, it's yeah, Sunset that one. Overdrive. Yeah, it that seems one for like sure. Nintendo really should have gone to them. And, and I hated how the Microsoft lady ruined the ending of Halo 4 before uh, introducing Halo to the next generation that has never played Halo before. That was annoying. I mean, yeah, so I, I thought annoying. Nintendo did a really good job. They did. So uh, there's more games that oh, yeah. announced. So next up, Mario Party 10, we kind of teased this. Another 2015 game. Oh, uh, so it is 2015? Yeah, yeah. I never heard them say that. So one of the uh, trends I noticed in this show uh, by other companies were one player would play kind of the god and wreak havoc um, on the other players. Uh, this happens kind of with the monster game where you have four versus the one in the monster game. You have a new game where one actually is playing as god against the other players. In Mario Party 10, the person on the gamepad is Bowser, wreaking havoc and just doing all sorts of crazy things to throw <laughs> off the four other people. So this is I think the first big I don't know big upgrade in Mario Party mechanics that they've ever done since the initial games. And where am I wrong here? I couldn't tell you. I don't play Mario Party games, really. Okay. This seems like a huge change where, like, it's been a lot more fun. Like, the mini games I think, are less and less fun these days because they've just gotten stale. But if you're having a person sitting with you just, like, having a devilish smile as they're, like, wreaking havoc on, as to what you're about to do, I think that's going to be a lot more fun. Uh, I mean, I, I know I have a friend who's into Mario Party, and he seemed excited for it. He thought it was a good twist. I'm Actually, this is a Mario Party I might get if there's, like, good online. and. That's my um, worry, though, because with the gamepad, it sounds like a local experience where you have the guy with the yeah. gamepad wreaking havoc. Yeah, I mean, but they could do sense. an online thing where, where you have one person wreaking havoc, the other four playing. I don't know. I, I mean, they really do intend these games when they make them to be with a bunch of people I want you. this to be online, though, because, man. Yeah, we'll see. I don't have anybody to party with out here. <laughs> party with you party with the computer. Yeah, I, all my knees. So I could play Your as Bowser amiibos. against my four okay. amiibos. See, that's what I'm talking about. Like the amiibos might make fun, playing with the computer fun for once. I don't know. We'll yeah, see. they might. Yeah. So they also announced Mario vs. DK. So I predicted this. They had this uh, thing a while back as a demo, a tech demo, at uh, GDGC. I think is the name of it. GDC. And, uh, Game yeah, this is a real game special. coming out next year. For Wii U? For Wii U? I didn't see this at all. Yeah, it would it got announced but no one really talked about it. <laughs> um like is it on any website I can find? Yeah, it? I'm sure it is. Like if I go Mario vs. Donkey Kong Wii U. When did they announce? We are it? all typing this, so pardon. Is this on yeah, their just... YouTube channel? Yeah, yeah, so e3.nintendo.com slash game slash Wii U slash Mario dash VS dash DK. Oh, yeah, yeah. So if you just search for Mario vs. Donkey Kong Wii U, it shows up as the first result. This is another 2015 game. Oh, yeah. It says pre-order coming soon. They want me to pre-order this? I'm not, like, there's pre-orders for Splatoon. I don't pre-order games. I, I really don't. I don't see the purpose of it. Not these days, no. Especially no, not, it seems not, stupid. Not directly from Nintendo, because you'll get it, like, two days later or something stupid like that. The yeah, way. like, I'm not pre-ordering games. I don't do that. Yeah. I'm like, I'll pre-order for the Smash coin, maybe. Probably. Um, but that's about it. Um, yeah, I had no idea this even got announced. Right? I mean, I, I kind of, like, I, I kind of feel they would have announced everything by now. But they may announce another game today. Who knows? <laughs> well, they, I think the conference is ending in like a few hours. So. It's six, so it's probably ending now. Or soon. 
or soon. So who knows what they'll do. I, I'm, I'm guessing we'll have a Nintendo Direct in a couple weeks to just pull out even more stuff that they didn't talk about. I don't know. Maybe focus on the stuff they didn't talk about as much. Maybe. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, so also announced. See, this what... game seems yep, more to me like this game seems more to me like it could come out in 2015 than Mario Maker. Like this can't be that hard to make. <laughs> I feel Mario Maker is not that hard to make either. I don't know. I feel like depends how much they flush it out, right? Yeah, it's all I about want, flushing yeah, it out. I want super polished Mario Maker. Yeah. So uh, some 3DS stuff that got announced. Fantasy Life for 3DS. It's basically Animal Crossing, but it's got RPG elements where you're battling and fighting cute animals and stuff. Uh, it's been on the live uh, treehouse quite a bit today, and uh, looks pretty solid. It's been on Japan for a while now. The other game, uh, Leighton vs. Phoenix Wright, coming out August 29th for 3DS. And then we got Fossil Fighters Frontier, coming out 2015 for 3DS. This is a game that uh, they shot off in a J- Japanese uh, direct a long time ago. It's out in Japan, and uh, it's pretty fun. So, um, What else is on your list, John? Do you have anything else on your list? Do, 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 do. Let's see. Cause I got some more stuff here. Um, Devil's Third was a big surprise. <laughs> yes, it was. That was a uh, showed off from IGN in their post show. Yeah, they had like an exclusive afterwards with the developers. Yeah. So this is a game, uh, it was originally a THQ published game, but they got destroyed. <laughs> their office blew up pretty much um, THQ. Really? So Nintendo uh, saw what they were doing and picked it up. Yeah, they. I think they mentioned this has been about three or four years into making. Yeah. So they've been working on it. And it a seems while. like they have some weird ideas. Like you make smoothies in this game while <laughs> knifing people, and it seems bizarre. Uh, so yeah, it's second party. Nintendo is helping them get it published. Yeah. Uh, this is it's, an M game. They do say the F word a couple times. This yeah, game, I'm sure. it looks violent. It looks like I mean, you, there's. It's, this it's is the Bayonetta a, for 2015. The uh, wonderful it looks, 101 for it looks, 2015. It looks more gory than that though, because Bayonetta's got very artsy Japanese. This looks more gory. Like you hit someone with a hammer in the head, and like blood yeah. comes out and, and you know spews. No, everywhere. it looks very gory. Yeah. Um, now but it's a mix. That was a like disturbing a trend at this year's E3. What blood? That. Um, there were a lot of trailers that just disturbed me with, like, skulls cracking. Yeah, and, like, it's very, blood. yeah. Uh, I was almost throwing up with a couple of those, like, blood porn. I, yeah, I, was... I thought it was blood porn at first, but I guess it's blood born. Because um, the Japanese guy didn't speak English that, that well, so uh, please do not blood porn. And it's like, blood porn? <laughs> they could be called that, because it was like, uh, yeah. So there's, yeah, Ubisoft's, that was disturbing. This yeah, year, Ubisoft's... Yeah. The whole press conference started off with the Far Cry 4 trailer, and it was like just violent. Had a guy just like destroying a guy with another knife, just violently. Like, it was, yeah. yeah, I'm glad. Like this game, I'm glad this game's on Wii U because it's like uh, uh, one <laughs> versus like a thousand of this like stuff that just repulses me. Yeah, and it's nice to do that every once in a while, but for every game, it just oh my god. Yeah, it's overkill. You need a. I mean, it's good to have yeah. options, but it definitely doesn't need to be every game like it seems like it is. Yeah. Um, but yeah, it's, it looks like it's a mix between a shooter and like a action kind of, uh... Yeah, so there'll be a story mode, there'll be on, online, uh, online, multiplayer, yeah. yeah so they say it runs solid. at 60 frames per second, which is cool. Yeah, I, and they're using the gamepad, I've heard in cool ways, didn't say what quite yet, but, uh... Yeah, I'm excited for this. It's pretty good. Um, they're doing 30% off eShop titles for some yep. of the franchises now. Um, the other thing, um... The secret 3DS game, John, was announced last night. What was it? It was the uh, the Project Steam. Game? Project Steam. And yeah. Project Steam is the actual title. It's not just a code name for this, which is interesting. So you're going to have to fill me in a lot because I haven't looked too much into this. I, I'm going to fill myself in a little bit because I haven't seen a ton <laughs> of it. I but, saw so some. I have, I've seen some. I've seen, I watched some of the Treehouse Live on this. Now, what the, 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 so what this is designed to be is a strategic game like Fire Emblem, that kind of that kind of game. But this is the the first game in their minds that brings in everybody. This is a game that everyone will love and enjoy. This includes everybody. You can't you don't have to be a strategy uh, aficionado to appreciate what this game is. So that's their 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 uh, push on this. And it uses a weird, like, comic book style with steampunk stuff, which I didn't even know what that was quite yet. And there's a steam mechanic where you have a certain... You're, 
you have a certain amount of steam in your gauge, and you deplete it as you move and stuff. Uh, but uh, this is a really hard game, in my mind, to actually describe. Uh, I was following Twitter that night and had no idea. I saw the screenshots. <laughs> I had no idea, and the screenshots didn't do it justice at all. It looked kind of ugly. And then I saw a live video of it <laughs> from Treehouse, and it's like, this is actually kind of beautiful, and it's got some cool style to it, and uh, I heard they're using 3D and actual gameplay mechanic-wise instead of just visual uh, fidelity. So I think this will be a really solid 2015 game. So, <laughs> What do you think, John? Steam. Project Steam. You going to get it? <laughs> Nintendo's new IP. That's how it's Most, uh, probably not. <laughs> no? Uh, not my... I even... I'll, I'll probably wait and see uh, one of those review yeah. you know, sort of things. I feel like I have to pick this up. Like, uh, I don't know. But I gotta get this. It's not my type of game. Even if they do say it's all inclusive, I... Like, they're implementing action and, like, shooter elements into a strategic game. Like, it's gonna be... I don't know. It's gonna be interesting. I need to give it... I need to watch more before I... Basically, you're in London it. and aliens invade and Abraham Lincoln is sending you out on this quest. Yeah, I like that. See, I like that sort of stuff. That's cool. Yeah, Abraham Lincoln was in the me announcement for Smash Brothers as well. They got a, a they're they're in love with Abraham Lincoln right now. I'm not sure what it is. <laughs> American hero. Yeah, they must have solved the Japanese Lincoln company movie a little bit. <laughs> they probably <laughs> like they watched Lincoln ago. like it's like oh this would be great, and then they saw Lincoln uh, the vampire hunter one as well. It's like this Lincoln guy he seems pretty popular now. They got Spielberg doing him and the vampire hunter. Yeah, let's do Lincoln. Yeah, let's do that. Um, but, uh, yeah, it seems pretty cool. So. They announced Marvel Disney Infinity, right? They announced it a while ago, right? Did, was that a while ago? Okay. Yeah. I'm just, I'm just silly. But I think I think that's my whole list. Wow. Um, the only thing I really noticed, we didn't see much Sonic Boom stuff. We did not. Sonic, they, it wasn't at Nintendo's booth. It was only at Sega. It's like booth. in the corner, so yeah. Cause that game Which is suck. weird, because this is a <laughs> Sega... F- uh, this is a Nintendo-funded game. Yeah, I think... That didn't get in Nintendo's booth. Yeah, I think That's Nintendo saw sign. it. And they, yeah, sign. Nintendo saw it and go, oh, this game's not looking so good. <laughs> this is not a good sign, man. Um, honestly, I feel like, yeah, the new the Adventures of Pac-Man, there's a second one coming out for Wii U. That game looks better than Sonic. Boom. Which is sad. I hope it gets better than this, because I really was excited for Sonic Boom. Uh, it looks horrible. Oh god, I don't. Know I was so excited when Sonic Boom was announced, though. It seems like uh, why can't we ever break the Sonic cycle where we get excited and then it just looks worse and worse? And Here's so the thing: Sonic games usually look good uh, until someone plays them. This game just looks bad from beginning to end. I hope they fix it. Is this fixable? <laughs> Is this fixable by launch? No, it comes out this fall. Of course, it's not fixable by launch. Oh, I hope so. Please. Um, be so Lego Batman Three, we're still getting Lego games for Wii. Yeah, we're getting Lego games still. Which is no good. Call of Duty confirmed yet. I hope that happens. I do. They don't you think it would have happened this week? Well, they kind of with Wii U, they just like oh, it's coming out. The do whatever. Sometimes. Well, we'll um, see how Smash. Well, it'll be this will come out before Smash Brothers. Hopefully, when they see how well Mario Kart's selling, they they flip the switch. Yeah, hopefully Ubisoft, you know, will release their finished game. Yeah, you want no? Yeah, they said they had a few. They they literally said they have. One. Oh, we got some finished games. We're just waiting to put yeah. it out until there's more uh, Wii U owners out there. They said they're working on some stuff, and they literally had one that is ready to go that they <laughs> haven't even announced yet. Is that Watch Dogs? No, they said it's besides Watch Dogs. They said Watch Dogs is still coming this fall because they uh, Polygon again interviewed the guy from Ubisoft, it's good. It's and he good said, enough. "Yeah, he can, he said, yeah, it's coming this fall." But he also said, "We're sitting on stuff that we just haven't even talked about because the system's not, you know, oh not selling like they want." Um, and come on, Ubisoft. I love but, you guys, but yeah. But my thing is, don't you think the system? I would ask them, don't you think the system would be selling better if you would actually put out these games and talk yeah. about them? Like, and uh, <laughs> hmm, it's know. just strange. It's so strange. Uh, EA, no games from EA. No sports games. So no, we like got uh, we got just dance from EA. No, that is Ubisoft. Oh, okay. Um, <laughs> I saw the Wii U on the Just Dance. Like, wow, we got a third. Yeah, yeah. yeah. <laughs> oh yeah, well, wow, that's yeah. great. Yeah, yeah. But EA, nothing. Um, 
But he said Watch Dogs was coming this fall, so we'll have another game. We'll have a yeah. lot of games this fall, this winter, yeah. whatever this holiday. I'm more excited for 2015, though. So oh, yeah. oh, yeah. But th- there's some solid games this fall. I'm not going to I mean, Smash games. Brothers. Is... Yeah, that's enough, right? That's all I need. And I get Smash Brothers in September for 3DS. So excited. So... This will be my new Kirby where I get to rub in people's faces. <laughs> Not I, as long though. I, I hope weeks. I hope the Smash for 3DS turns out to be good. I really do. I, I it's been getting good impressions of the show floor. People have been saying, "Yeah, this is a good game." Good to con- it takes a little bit to adjust to controls though. So if you like Conan O'Brien, you should totally see his video of him playing Smash Brothers because it's <laughs> awesome and hilarious. It's pretty great. Pretty great. Um, yeah, he has a segment where he plays games. Nintendo let him play this early. It's pretty good publicity because nerds watch Conan, apparently. That's a big audience. For him, is nerdy people. And it, the video's hilarious. So go to TeamCoco.com and watch uh, Conan O'Brien try to play Smash Brothers. He made some funny comments. He says, why does this person's hand have a, a spoon for a hand? He's talking about the villager. And when you look at the villager, it literally looks like they have a spoon for a hand. <laughs> it's, it's, so it's pretty funny. Um, oh, totally good. worth watching. Yeah. So the villager was off on the players. I think I'll leave Lil Mac on Saturday. On Saturday, though, I'm going back. You're going back. I'm going back. It's oh, that's cool. It's a fun gathering, you know. So I'm in Anyways. Alabama on Saturday. I wonder if there's going to be. I doubt there'll be a Best Buy in Alabama where I'm at. Maybe I don't know. Maybe not. Doubt it. Anyways, so anything else that we missed from Nintendo this week? No, but like I said, there's no sports games like at all. So if you're into sports games, this is pretty dire. Bad. This is pretty dire. Yeah. So no Madden, no, da, no da, FIFA. Da, da. No, there's nothing, man. It's yeah. You can go suck on it. <laughs> Here's the thing, e- Nintendo. I would really love to see Nintendo go to EA and say, build us Mario sports games with you know. Do it for us. Help us out. You know, like yeah, like, no, second party it. Yeah, second party that because we need sports games. You guys don't obviously like working. On, it seems on like your own sports own games stuff. are super casual and would fit into Nintendo's kind of. Well, they have consistent mold. buyers. Like people buy sports games yearly, and you know, most people do. I feel. But yeah. I feel. Like, I mean, I don't buy. I don't play sports games. I don't really care either way. That's like kind of leaving off Just Dance. Like I feel like sports yeah. games would do good on Nintendo consoles. Well, I uh, think I don't know. I feel like. I feel like the Madden would be awesome on the Wii U because the gamepad, it's got a, you could have mm-hmm. a freaking football field in your hand and, you know, draw little plays and all yeah. that stuff. So it seems like a no-brainer. I don't know why they're not doing it. But we're getting Splatoon, John. That's that's a sport game enough, right? Shooting people with paint. What game? With ink. Oh, Splatoon. Yeah. Yeah, still think. I'm so excited. So, but yeah, I don't think, I mean, there might have been some... Some indie games that got shown off. Oh, there were a lot of the indie I, games that got shown off. This I year. honestly haven't looked at those yet. Um, Guacamelee looks pretty good. That's coming this year. Hasn't um, that been out on 360 and stuff? Yeah. It's um, a definitive release, Sean. <laughs> <laughs> I'm still excited yeah, a lot for of Shovel Knights. Shovel Knights. Yeah, it's pretty good this, this month. And uh, Pac-Man had a big blowout on eShop today. A lot of virtual console and uh, other games. So that's cool. Uh, anyways, I think that's that's a wrap. But tomorrow, yeah, um, tomorrow night, Friday night, Aaron Rivera will be joining me to discuss um, some of these same topics. Um, we won't cover as in depth one by one as we did this. Probably not. Um, we'll see. I, I'm kind of just tomorrow's show will be all about Aaron and his impressions of the show since I did mine today. <laughs> and we'll be diving into Xbox some because uh, he owns an Xbox and uh, curious to talk Halo and Sunset Overdrive with him because those look intriguing. Anyways. Yeah, Sunset Overdrive, I'm jealous. The Halo collection also is just so huge. It's, Four games in one. That's like, I don't know, yeah. how many hours of gameplay. It, it sounds like a lot of fan service. It sounds like, you know, they did all the different engines and all the maps. So, yeah, it's totally... There's, like, playlists where you can play, like, yeah. missions that all, all involve the vehicle or something like that. It's know. totally like, hey, buy our system. Which is, you know, it's not bad. You yeah. Gotta do, you gotta do that. And PlayStation has a white PS4 coming out with Destiny. <laughs> So, anyways. Um, yeah, John, where can folks find you on the interwebs? Uh, you can find me on Twitter and Meverse, um, everywhere at John Wesley A. Yeah. Cool, cool. And I forgot to mention, Aaron is fighting a flood again, so that's why he's not here. 
he has flash floods, I guess, and there's a leak uh, by the basement or something. I don't know. Mm. They, they, they locate the leak. Bags. They locate the leak, and they're having some come out next week. So hopefully there's no more flash floods between now and then. I laugh, but I shouldn't, because that's sad. Yeah, don't laugh. Yeah. So, Aaron, <laughs> best of luck getting rid of all that water and fish going into your house. Um, maybe he gives you dinner, though. You get some fish that come in from the, the lake, or the the pond, or whatever. Don't eat I, this. I, no, don't eat that. No, don't eat this? Okay. <laughs> um, so, my username everywhere is T C H A T E E N. Uh, you can find the video versions of these podcasts there at youtube.com slash T C H A T E N. I'd encourage you to join the Nintendo Club podcast community uh, on Google+. Plus. You'll be notified when we go live, and you can do live Q&A during these shows, which is a lot of fun. Uh, you can follow me on Twitter with that same username, Instagram, and you can find me on Miiverse and play me against Mario Kart 8 in there. And uh, I, for those curious about the community with Mario Kart 8, I'm trying to figure out how to edit that or delete it because I'm trying to set up to just an hour every week where we can all get together and play. Because the all the time thing doesn't really work, I, I, I've discovered. So, well, I'm figuring that out still. So, anyways, thanks for tuning in to today's show and into level 56 with Aaron as we dive into more E3 stuff. As this has been an amazing week, John. Yeah. Nintendo stuff. crushed it. 24 yeah, hour today. live stream, pretty much. I'm watching, man, this, I hope it, I'm watching yeah. this indie reel. Man, there's some really cool indie games coming. There are, there are. So yeah, Nintendo crushes. I want them to do this next year. I think they will do this next year. The live treehouse thing. I think it's been a big hit for them. Mm-hmm. So, I think people might copy them. Yeah, I'll be curious if Sony and Microsoft do a similar thing. We'll see. Anyways, that's a wrap. We'll be back tomorrow night with Aaron. Have a good one. Bye bye. <laughs>